Continuing on with Visual Arts Night, our second guest here is from the Carmel area. And Gail Lehman, uh, you have a fascinating, in terms of arts experiences, uh, you've lived a fascinating life. Um, you. And so how you've um, prepared for where you are now in terms of working in industry and in corporate design and so forth. Why don't you talk a little bit about that? Because we're very interested here in careers and possible careers and how we can use our arts experiences for uh, careers in the arts. Is that okay. So you're from the New York area originally? New York originally, yeah. I was educated in New York and um, I moved to California in 1968. Uh -huh. And a um, couple of years later started working um, for um, a major international design firm in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Really all around the world at that time. Mm -hmm. And um, well, I worked for them as a technical director, okay. um, which was really kind of a way beyond my field, but uh -huh. I kind of worked my way through it uh -huh. and managed to. Right. And, but, and, and you went to college. And yes. when you were yeah. in college, what did you study? You, I, I went to Cornell, and I was uh, a government major. Oh, my goodness. And, yeah. Um, well, that helps you get your plans right, approved. Right. That, that helped me get right through <laughs> yeah. the building department. Uh, okay. And, um, I, then I um, actually, my very first job was for the county of Los Angeles. Oh, okay. And I was designing methadone maintenance clinics. Oh, okay. So that was my entree into the design field. Okay. And then as I moved into the corporate world, okay. I was with three international firms. Ah, and w when you say design, what exactly is that? I uh, was doing space planning and interiors for oh, okay. um, major corporate offices. Ah. And when I came up to the Monterey Peninsula in 77, I um, then started doing um, smaller offices around the okay. area. Uh -huh. And I, again, was doing space planning and interiors. And okay. then I started doing hospitals. Oh, so okay. So I had a lot of hospital experience, okay. um, among them Dominican Hospital oh, and UCSF. Okay. So. You, you know what is fascinating for me? Uh, even though at times it's not the best circumstances. But when I go up to the community hospital, up to CHOP, the artwork that's there is absolutely amazing. Yes, it's correct. And, and that's part of space design, I'm sure. That's yes. part of yes. trying to create a kind of a sanctuary, a kind of a life, uh, relaxing. Right. Is that right. what you do? Do you design? with purpose in mind and mission in mind? Well, absolutely. You know, um, I think actually as I, I headed toward my art career, as mm -hmm. my career as an artist and uh -huh. away from design, um, I had always been responsible for art selection for big mm -hmm. institutions oh, because okay. I had done major square footage, oh, big okay. companies, National sure. Medical, Prudential. Uh -huh. And so we did all their art selection. And every mm -hmm. time I got to an artist's studio, I felt like I, they had this mystical experience uh, around them. Okay. They were um, so protected and so cocooned from the uh -huh. corporate. Yes, image. right. And right. they could really do what they wanted, and I yeah. wanted to do what I wanted. <laughs> so, uh, well, for your own individual arts, your mm -hmm. your, your visual painting right. and so forth, when did that? When did you start really pursuing that? Um, I I moved into um, painting exclusively in two thousand two. Ah, okay. I kind of came to a point in my design career where mm -hmm. I felt I could move out on my own mm -hmm. as an artist. Mm -hmm. And um, that's when I started and I, st I went back to school. Mm -hmm. I went to MPC and I mm -hmm. started from Drawing 101 and I oh, started from the beginning. Yeah. And yeah. I was determined not to be a dilettante. But oh, this okay. was going to be important and I, okay. you know, I wanted to see if I had the courage to keep so just going. Just sort of roll up your sleeves. Okay, why don't we now go to your PowerPoint right. and um, and maybe we can start. I, I've looked at your work and I just, you have a striking sense of color. Thank you, um, thank you. And, and it just grabs my attention. Yeah. What, uh, That's Lily's flowers. 
That's what? That's Lily's flowers. I have two oh grandchildren. They both live in Carmel. Oh. And they're little ones. And I, after I did this, I said, well, this is Lily's flowers. Oh. And oh. as you get on, this is um, Spring's Chorus Line. I just finished this very recently. And these are large. They're um, oh my goodness. five feet by four feet. Wow. OK. Um, and and uh, Gil, these are in your gallery? Yes. OK. Yes. Which is in Carmel. Yes. Where in Carmel? Um, we're off of Forest Road, up near the Forest Theater. Oh my goodness! Okay, I know the Forest Theater. I quite bet well. you do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, these are very recent. This is Kyoto glows. Oh. And um, oh, interesting. Because of the Asian feeling, this is suspension. Um, and I think. Um, as we keep going, we're going to find, mm -hmm. this is one plus one. It always looked like two figures to me, kind of uh -huh. mother and daughter. Uh -huh. And um, I, you know that strong white line right. there on the small figure right. to join with the larger figure. Uh -huh. And this is Jacob's Ladders after my grandson, Jacob. Oh, okay. He won't let me sell it. Lily uh -huh. won't let me sell hers, okay. but that's okay. And. Um, and this always makes me feel like I'm back on the Hudson River. So oh, really? I, okay. I don't start painting with any intention. I, um, I'm, it's purely intuitive, and mm -hmm. what comes. Oh, comes. that's that's very interesting. That one. Yeah. yeah. So. And again, with the color and the line. Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So, in the composition of this, you it just comes out it just is how uh -huh. I start with a blank canvas uh -huh. and um, as I take that first um, choice of color what yeah. I'm going to start with okay. it's the color that leads me to what eventually is the end I do a lot of pulling back and striking back okay on um, the previous painting you just saw okay. this one as well as it uh -huh. works on paper okay. and I actually use a sander sometimes to get wow. to the underneath okay. layers how interesting how, how, how do you know when you're finished how do you, you know that that's complete I've it, always it's been like told. an emotion mm -hmm. yeah I've always been told you should stop at 90 percent Oh, okay, and that let us fill in the other ten. Okay. <laughs> no, if you keep going, you usually mess it up. Oh, so. I see. I, oh, that's a good rule for living, I think. Okay. And this is primavera. Ah, terrific! It's an exciting uh -huh. venture you have right. here. Right. That's um, that's hidden Venus. You've got to look closely, Fabulous. and you'll see Venus in okay. it. And again, in the spirit of, of careers, um, how do you run a gallery? How do, what, is that like a business? Well, you know, my gallery is everything I have is online. Uh -huh. And so I'm represented by myself. Uh -huh. I'm also um, at Saatchi online, uh -huh. um, which is the London gallery right. that's online. Um, um, it's really, you know, running a business rather sure. than... Um, a, I, much as I would love to stay away from the business end mm -hmm. of it, I mm -hmm. now have a young man who's um, doing some PR for me. Oh, good. And he's been in LA last weekend, uh -huh. um, and we're looking to try and get a show in LA. Well, you know, that that, that, these level. young men out here, that's the kinds of things that we're teaching them to do. So hopefully we'll be able to work with you in the future in developing uh, video for for your web page and and working in the process of actually selling art and making a living out of it. Well, that would yeah, be you can wonderful. Do it, right? That would we, be wonderful. We can do this. It can be done. Okay. It can um, be done. And 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 again, it, it, we can go online with Gail Heyman, right? With Gail Heyman Fine Art. Yes. Okay. And you can, you can purchase uh, during this week uh, or this weekend of. Well, let's say extreme dysfunction on the roads. Do do you find that there's folks coming to galleries and so forth with so many? Um, definitely, your paintings are high-end paintings. Would yes. they yeah. appeal to the, um, the Rolls-Royce crowd? <laughs> yeah. Well, I think they might. Mm -hmm. um, most of the people that come to me come by word of mouth. Oh, okay. And um, it's um, people that have uh -huh. bought 
from me previously. Mm -hmm. I just recently had a very exciting sale this year. Um, mm -hmm. I had a, a, a collector from Boston. Oh. And okay. he came in. Unfortunately, we haven't seen it tonight because it wasn't mm -hmm. available because mm -hmm. it's already gone. Yeah. But um, it was a, a large painting called The Lady in Red, and mm -hmm. he bought it and it was wow. then donated to a university in Pennsylvania. He said it was the image of his grandmother just oh. dancing across the canvas, even though it was quite abstract. Oh, my goodness. And okay. he's just set up a scholarship fund at her former university oh. and donated the painting, and they've just commissioned another Gail, one. Yeah, that's spectacular. So, spectacular. So, thank you so okay. much for thank coming you, by Hamish. and, really and talking it. with us about your art, and thank it's you. great. Okay. So um, let's go. We've got um, some uh, additional information coming uh, from Chuck Parker and Derek in the control area. And again, this is Visual Arts Night, and I have been talking to Gail Lehman, uh, artist extraordinaire. Uh -huh. Thank you.